In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the fuel injector in this Toyota Prius. Let's get into it. Take this hose off. We're going to use a 10 millimeter socket, loosen up this worm clamp. And slide that off, out of the way. Use a straight blade screwdriver, just pop that open. And we can disconnect the connector here. Push down, slide it off, out of the way. Using a 10 millimeter socket, loosen up this worm clamp. Take these two bolts out, use a 10 millimeter socket. Grab the air box, just wiggle it up and slide it out of the way. Using a 10 millimeter socket, take these two bolts out. And just fold the relay box over. Take these three 10 millimeter bolts out. I'm just going to use a 10 millimeter socket. And loosen those up first. This wiring harness, there's a little retainer here. I'm just using a pick. Just slide that off. You can see the connector underneath here. Just to help out, I'm gonna use a pick. Just get under the front of the connector and slide it off. What you could do is push down on the back, but it's kind of hard to reach that. So if you just slide under the front of it, slide that off. Using a rag, just cover up the throttle body I'm going to disconnect the connectors for the injectors. Just push down on the tab. Slide those up. Slide those out of the way. Using a 12 millimeter socket, take these two bolts out. I'm just using a pry bar, just get underneath here very carefully, just pry up a little bit, just wiggle it back and forth. The seals are going to stay in the, in the engine or in the manifold. There we go. That's pulled up. You can use a pick and just get the old seals. Pull those out. Using a couple rags, I'm just going to put one underneath and just with a rag on top, I am going to grab the fuel injector and push it down. Just separate it from the rail and work it back and forth. Just keeping the rag there is going to prevent any fuel from splashing up. A little bit of pressure in there, not too much. There's the fuel injector. Take the injector, you can put a little oil or gasoline on the O-ring that's going to go to the top. I'm going to take that injector 
and slide it in place. You want to rotate it back and forth. Now you don't put the seal on the injector. You're going to take these seals and those are going to go into the head. So you can lubricate those as well. Just push those in position and push those in place. So it seats just like that and do the same for the other ones. Line those up and push the injectors in. There we go, all the way down. Take the two bolts, get those started. Torque these to 14 foot-pounds. Go ahead and plug these in. Lock them down. Do the same with the other ones. You should be able to rotate them a little bit if you have to. Put these screws in, get these lined up. Tighten these down. And take that wire and slide that in position. It's gonna go right there, lock it down. Take this relay box and line it up. Take the two screws, get those started. Snug those down. Take this rag off the th throttle body. Take that clamp that's going to go around there. And slide the air box in place over the throttle body. Sure that's lined up. Looks good. Take the two screws, get those started first. Tighten those down. Snug those down. Snug that down. Plug the connector in and lock this retainer down. Line this snorkel up. Tighten down the worm clamp. It's snug. And it's good. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.